Today is October 30th, and in this old guy DIY video, I'll show you how I'm helping this hot chick I know prepare her little orchard for winter. So a couple years ago, she put this little orchard in. She has about 12 fruit trees here. And at the time, I helped her build an eight foot fence around it. Our thought was that we would keep the deer out. And then I had used black corrugated pipe around the trunks of the trees just to keep the rabbits from trying to eat them. And that was successful. But she and I didn't know about bowls. So in the spring, she had three trees that had been girdled by the voles. They had come and eaten the roots down in this area and then they had girdled the trees about two inches up from the ground. And last year, this little area in the orchard was tall grass. It was left to be kind of wild. And then she read that the voles love that tall grass and use it as a transport technique to when they're running around in the winter time and they come after these trees. So what I decided to do today is I took some three inch fire hose that she got free from a local fire department and I slid it and then I just used a couple of zip ties to hold this on so there's no room between the tree trunk and the fire hose for a bowl to get in if it comes from the bottom. And then I weed whipped around all of these different trees and when I'm done I'm going to put about a two inch layer of number six drain stone on there from what she read, if you protect the trunks down here, you want to go up it as high as the snow may go. And then having the stones there at ground level apparently keeps the voles from trying to come in and do their thing. So I have 12 trees to do today, and I'm going to wrap them in fire hose. The zip ties are not very strong, and in the spring these things will come off anyway, so I'm not worried about it restricting the, the growth of the tree trunk over the next few months. But I think this stuff is tough enough and it's pulled in tight enough to the tree that the voles will choose to go mess with something else rather than this. So I hadn't seen this fire hose technique in any of the stuff I looked at on the internet. I thought it might be a cost effective, creative way to solve this problem. So I'm gonna give it a try. The technique I found that works best for cutting this fire hose is to use a utility knife. I just laid a piece of one and a half inch PVC inside this three inch hose. And with a couple of strikes of that knife, I was able to cut it pretty easily. Initially, I started out with these Fisker scissors, and after one 20 inch piece and two end cuts, the thing was dull from trying to cut through that nylon and rubber. But it looks like the utility knife is the way to go. Well, it's been about an hour and a half, and the job is done. So I weed whipped around the trees, I put the fire hose on there, then dumped some of the number six drain stone. And the lady that lives here came down and took a push mower and cut this orchard really close to the ground, almost scalping it, so there won't be much to attract the voles here. I'll just take a walk around and show you what the finished product looks like. So there are 13 trees out here. Each one of them is now wrapped in fire hose with a rock perimeter wrapping right around the tree trunk. So hopefully the voles will be dissuaded and it'll be an uneventful winter for the trees. In the spring, I'll come back, remove the fire hose. And if things have gone well in terms of vole prevention, we'll just store those until next year. So I hope this idea helped you and have a great day.